Today on the 411, we bring you the excitement and activities of the African travel market's three day exhibition, Aquaba. Aquaba is West Africa's biggest travel market. Now, the African travel market is West Africa's biggest travel market. This is called Aquaba, and I'm presently here at the Oriental Hotel at the awards uh, program for the evening, which is obviously sponsored by the Cross River State Government, who are also the sponsors of the Calabar Carnival, which is one of Nigeria's biggest uh, carnival that happens every December in the country here in Cross River State, Nigeria. Three days event is marked by a series of um, activities starting uh, first with a display and a fair that um, showcase exhibitions from top airlines across the African continent and across the world. You have um, hotels, you have tourism, uh, specialists and practitioners, you have government presence here. Most states, you have Sokoto State, you have Cross River State, represented here at the 2015 edition of the African Travel Market. Your state hosts one of Nigeria's biggest and world acclaimed Cross River's Calibre Carnival and your administration is, we've been hearing rumors, you're planning something bigger than we've ever witnessed. What should we look forward to this year? You look forward to a completely new content, okay. a content that will drive you really wow and crazy. Okay. We have actually gone international this year. We're having countries like uh, Brazil coming in, okay. China coming in. Okay. We're introducing acrobatics. We're br bringing magic shows. As a matter of fact, we're taking it a completely new level. We're also creating an opportunity for us to have a celebration and harmony between business and carnival. Pleasure and business coming together. And of course, because we want to market Cross River State as a new destination for business, we're using the carnival as a new window to reach people. But obviously, looking at the content, and I've gone through the whole world marketing carnival, I'm just back out of Asia, and the picture will be wow. This year's carnival will never be like ever before. Well, the bands are working hard. Okay. You know, this year's uh, carnival is going to be bigger. Okay. You know, and um, much more entertainment is expected. We have a governor that has come in because it's, it's always a problem when there's a change of government okay. because you know the incoming governor, governor may not buy into the passion of the previous governor. Yes. But so far we've been very lucky. When Donald Duke started the carnival, we didn't know that the carnival would survive. Okay. Luckily when Imoke came in, Imoke bought into the vision okay. and even took it to, in fairness to him, took it to the next level okay. where we are today. And then luckily, from all the indications, the governor, the present governor is showing enough passion, okay. which means that the carnival will survive. Mind you, we have our financial problems in cross state, states, okay. you know, but somehow we've been able to manage. So I come from Kenya, and uh, we are so honored to be participating this year and uh, getting to see more things and many things that Calabar Festival has to offer and to be part of it. And, Seeing that Cross River is a very rich state, okay. yes, culturally and all that. Today, um, or rather for the next three days, Dubai Tourism is participating in the 11th Aquaba African Travel Market in Lagos, Nigeria. We chose this as our first platform into West Africa because it's a brilliant travel fair production that is done here. And we're here to create awareness of Dubai as the number one travel destination for Africans. Sun International is a hotel group uh, within South Africa. We have uh, hotels in Cape Town, the Table Bay, uh, the Maslow in Johannesburg, Sun City is definitely our iconic property. Um, we're here to represent um, not only our properties as Sun International, but we're also here to educate the, the trade on South Africa. Here to participate and to invite visitors to Dubai. We are targeting the base, the middle category and the top category. Uh, to speak more about our company, Royal Gulf Tourism has been in the business since 1996. We are here at Aquaba for the fourth time. 
And uh, at Akwaba, we are represented by the Kenya Tourism Board, some tour operators, and our national carrier, Kenya Airways. Uh, this event is uh, key for us because uh, we look at it as the leading travel show for the West African region. We're here today and for the exhibition to show the Nigerian market the products that we have and to discuss with the utility companies the proposition for moving Nigeria forward in terms of revenue collection, revenue protection and ultimately in terms of moving them towards a smart metering solution. Um, just to have a better understanding and uh, an insight into what um, this year is going to look like in terms of the calendar and the flow and all that. So I'm just there to, you know, first of all to mingle and network with people and then get that information, get more incisive information. Yeah. All right. Africa travel market, popularly known as Aquaba, which in Ghana means welcome. This is the 11th edition of Aquaba and I have been part of it and my company has been part of it since its inception 11 years ago. There is no doubt at all that Aquaba in Africa um, is an equivalent of the world trade market, world travel market that holds every November in London. And as Aquaba continues to grow you know, strong in Africa, we are also trying to develop similar events locally, uh, in, the, in, local, in each country, so that we can become a block of part of the world travel market. You know, it's, it's a festival that has been following since about maybe a little shy of nine years now. And um, they never cease to amaze me every year. You know, they always bring something new and fresh to the table. You know, and uh, I think that's a byproduct of passion, consistency, and dedication on the part of people from cross rural states. You know, and, you know, I'm majorly powered by, of course, Senator Etagea, which she's a she's a personal role model to me. She's somebody I followed over the years, and she really inspires me with anything she's passionate about. Yeah. Okay. Well, every year is a treat, and I know this year is going to be better than last year. So I'm looking forward. I can't wait to see. Until Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we move to the next item. We invite the Ugandan drumming team. <laughs> who has done a lot in mobilizing the African force for this carnival. It's evident that cross State remains the hotspot for business in Africa. With over 123 square kilometers of Atlantic coast, it gives us opportunity to have a deep seaport and use cross State as a hub for logistics center and manufacturing center. Ladies and gentlemen, this time around, Calabar will rock. And you will rock real great. I don't want any traditional dance, I don't want anything, but all I want is come, be ready to rock your life out. We are going to dance, I'm going to be on my jeans and my t-shirt, and I'm ready to do my bike, and I'm ready to do my shoki, and I'm ready to dance and dance and dance. We are the